Hi, my name is Krista Mahaver. I work in the youth and family department. I specifically work in, in doing program development, usually um, for kids um, in the ages of 6 to 17. Service learning, in a nutshell, service is service to self, others, and the community. Learning is the process that the teens um, or an individual goes through where they're learning through hands-on experience civic engagement, and pretty much learning along the way what it is to serve. The goal of the Summer of Service was to reach out to our teen demographic. We wanted to reach them at where their talent and their interest lies. We knew that number one priority for any teen would be employment. Um, you know, they're looking for summer jobs, they're looking to make some money, and um, they're really not interested in our traditional YMCA programs, such as sports or even camp. Or And so we figured, why not get the teens where their interest and their talent lies, take them through a journey in the summer where we can have them engage in civic engagement projects, service learning projects, where they're not only in a positive environment, but they're doing positive things and they're surrounded by people that can help them. with the kids was really fun. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not for and the hair on my chinny chin chin. Storytelling out was Goldilocks. <laughs> that was so fun. Um, the kids liked it, so it felt good to see them like all happy and stuff. And they kept asking for more stories. So that, that felt good. That made me feel good. That is the end. Yay! Right, let's have a big round of applause for our performers. Alright, we just went to the dumpster. And we spent like a good 15 minutes just picking up stuff that was two feet from the dumpster and throwing it into the dumpster, which I thought was uh, pretty stupid because the dumpster is right there. So why would you litter on the ground when the dumpster's right there? I don't know. Whatever. But the fact is that we did it. And we cleaned up the trash. And stunk. Really bad. Doing on this detail work. All right. All right. So today we uh, we went out and helped Rick, the maintenance guy. Uh, now, it feels good to get back to me that way because not only the technical, so I'm not good at like thinking stuff, but you know, physical physical labor is something I'm good at, and I was able to stand it. And people use those pictures all the time in the gym, and. I don't know, give me a sense, like a feeling of like, I did something good, like people are going to appreciate that, but I'm not going to get any credit, but it doesn't even matter because people are going to see those bleachers and like, wow, why I actually did something, I'm like, yeah, those are my bleachers, I did that, I feel good. Today, I folded a lot of papers. <laughs> And that sucked. It was awful, but it made me appreciate what Maureen does. It's so hard work. I hear that train coming. I've played my guitar for people many times, but I never gotten that kind of reaction. On, like they were working out to it, but just the expressions on their faces were just priceless. Like you can't, you can't get that anywhere else. So. Uh, it, was de it was definitely something I would do again, uh, and it wasn't the fact that they enjoyed it that made me really like it. It's just I feel like it was self fulfilling. I felt like I was appreciated. And it felt good. Then we did gardening, and it showed me a lot about like the wise values about how we have to, like, 
that all our work pays pays off and the community is gonna look at this garden. Tomorrow we are finishing up the garden we started. And uh, at first everyone was complaining about it. I mean, I wasn't complaining that much, but I'm guilty of it as well as everyone. But uh, when Priscilla told us a story about the little girl who died, I think it kind of like really sunk into everybody and everyone kind of stopped complaining. The gardening wasn't that fun, but I mean, it's good to know. Like, you have to do things you don't really like to do, but I'm happy that we're going to finish it because poor little Marie girl. That's sad. Car wash! Free car wash! The car wash! That was fun! <laughs> we might need a lot of money for the Strong Kids campaign, so that'll help out a lot. The number one case is for everybody who can't afford to be a member of Hawaii. We got two people who donated twenty dollars. And basically, the y, last year the Y gave out one hundred thousand dollars to financial aid to people. People actually like, looked at the flyers for the Strong Kids campaign, and we advocated a good cause. The drunk driving video was a lot of fun to make, but I think it's gonna um, really help. The drunk driving video is very eye opening, and I'm glad that we could, like, people are gonna look at the video and maybe think twice about drinking and driving. Guys, you can't call on If it's not your number, I'm not sick! Call one thing. Calm down. Call I tried to teach him the game, it fell apart. And then I tried to just have him kick a soccer ball around, and then Rich came over and tried to save me. Stop. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't need you to do that. Go. Down, don't, man. Talk, don't talk to me. Back away. No, no, no. You gotta throw the ball up in your number. Yeah. And he failed Ready? too, so he let him go on the playground, and now I gotta try again tomorrow. I'm gonna give this refreshing cup of water to one of these hard-working lifeguards. Oh, cold, cool. All right. We thought it so humid and hot in here that you would appreciate a bottle of water. Oh, thank you. Mm, oh, yeah. It looks like a cereal commercial. <laughs> yeah. Now pour it in. <gasps> you did make my day, you thought. Oh, oh yay! I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Spirit, mind, and body. Wishes to my wall. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. My name is uh, David, and I'm the cameraman, but I kind of feel bad because most of the time I have to be filming when I'd rather participate in the things that are helping. But I think it's important that bring awareness to uh, what we're doing and documenting what we're doing is also an important part of uh, service life. From the first day that I met the group, um, they were very quiet and reserved. Even though they were fun and energetic, um, through different activities that they were doing, I can tell that they had, you know, over-the-top personalities and, you know, they were really enthusiastic people to be around. They were very reserved when it came to being, um, you know, taking initiative and being outspoken and articulating the way they felt or what they thought about. Um, and seeing them from day one to, you know, four weeks later, you know, seeing them interact with the kids and, you know, they're using their personality traits of being outgoing, enthusiastic, and um, fun, and they're using it in a positive way. Honestly, a lot of them take on responsibility where they're, 
you know, taking on tribes and they're organizing group games for the kids or they're taking on projects that they thought about, clean up projects on their own without, you know, us initiating the first step or the first move. Them actually doing it on their own, I think is a big step for them.